Rick, you're a moron. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, idiots. It's up, Corbin. I'm getting the atmosphere ready. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content that goes us on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter account, ring the bell button on the Geek Squad. Bang! Follow us on our YouTube channels. Links right down Shame. there for you. Uh, yeah, and we are on Skype. This is not going to be our normal setting. It's just, this just happened. No, 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 no. This is happened. It's how it happened to be today. Uh, so, yep. this is one, the rest are in person. Um, so, just letting you know. But, uh, something yeah, dropped, I believe it was last night. Uh, it was the new trailer for Gun, Gunjan Sexana, right? Is that how you pronounce that? Yeah, Gunjan Sexana. Close enough for hand grenades. Uh, do you want to read that disclaimer on the screen real quick? Yeah, it says, This film is inspired by events based on the life of Flight Lieutenant Gunjan Sexena. The film has been created by taking creative liberties and dramatizing the events for cinematic expressions. The Indian Air Force supports equality in the skies. Currently, there are 1,625 women officers serving in the Indian Air Force. We salute the Indian Air Force. Jai Hin. Okay, so this is, um, this is not the first female Air Force pilot for India, but she was the first female Air Force pilot that went into combat. This is about her. Okay. Uh, awesome. So some kick-ass uh, women in the military and also tripathy. Hey, rock and roll. Good. Uh, uh, but uh, so that's it. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, yep. one. Air Force join Karna hai. Netflix August twelfth. Cool. Looked nice. Good. Looked good. Uh, uh, yeah. I love, I love a good true story. Um. Ob you obviously always hope they do justice to, especially yeah, like a, a badass woman, you know, fighting in the military. And um, obviously it'll probably be hard to watch um, at certain points. And it, I guess it should be. Um, it's like right. when, you, when you watch stuff in, in, about. Uh, racism in America, right? Uh, like the old school, like when the civil rights movement or any time like uh, that, 
uh, you're watching people trying to, you know, just get basic human rights. This woman's just trying to be in the military, but there's a bunch of prejudice about people. Right. Like the stupid scene where they were doing that. Like she, she's arm flying, wrestling. She's flying a plane. I'm pretty sure she'll be right. fine if she doesn't win an arm wrestling match. <laughs> yeah, and let's get, let's get any number of guys out here and see what guy loses to what guy because someone's going to lose. Yeah. So that's an idiotic point. Um, but yeah, so uh, I I do enjoy that and the fact that I'm hoping it would it would stay true to um, her being an awesome badass woman, uh, you know, trying yeah. just trying to serve her country. Um, and I don't know anything about it, obviously. Yeah, and I felt that the trailer was a really, you know, well put. You know, it's movie trailer one hundred and one. They they had they hit all the right notes and crossed all the T's and the I's as far as it being paced right, feel right, nice score. I really felt engaged. I think kind of the jury's out in terms of which direction is it going to go. Is this going to be a pretty hard hitting, uh, raw kind of a thing, or is it going to be a more of a family friendly telling? Because they. You really got to do one or the other if you want more people to see her story or if you want to get to the, you know, if she had a really raw military experience that you want to get to the brutality of it. Uh, uh, that's a well, different movie. And I'm sure she faced a lot of sexism uh, and like harassment uh, as well. I'm sure. Uh, absolutely. There's a, there's a ton of that with women in the military, the harassment they get uh, sexual or, or otherwise. Uh, from Every, the, f- everywhere. Yeah. Every, everywhere. Uh, it's. Yeah. I'm I'm hopeful because it is a Netflix, but I don't know if it was made for Netflix, or if Netflix right. just bought it because of the pandemic. And that I don't know. Uh, right. But it's directed by Sharon Sharam. Yeah, did they Sharon Sharam? No. They the director was part of Yaijuani Haiduani in some way. Oh, uh, okay. It was produced by Kiran Jora. Okay. Good uh, co- coffee with Kiran. It was produced yeah. by him, um, and it's starring John Javi Kapoor. I don't know who that is. So you guys, but she's the main lead. So you can let us know how she is as an actress. I don't know. Um, so, but obviously we recognize Pankaj Tripathi. I felt like there was... Yep. Who else was in there that I recognize? No. I didn't recognize anybody else. You didn't? I thought there was somebody in there that... I didn't, know. I recognize. But anyways, looked good. Um, mm-hmm. I'm hope I'm hoping it's good because it seems like a, a, a cool story, a story that should be told. It's only 112 minutes, so it's really short. Um, so let us know what cool. we need to know, stupid babies. Uh, inform us about this woman. Uh, and how you think it looks, uh, and uh, Tripathy, if you're watching, uh, come on the channel. Yes, <laughs> we love you. <laughs> <laughs> Dina, <laughs>